All right, let's 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 go on. Dr. Anthony Harper is the lead White House investigative journalist on anti-Semitism and human rights issues. He recently joined us to discuss the Biden administration's efforts to undo President Trump's commitments to Israel and the Middle East peace treaties he brokered between Israel and their Arab neighbors. Uh, the Israel leaders made it very clear to President Biden that they will not accept a Palestinian consulate in Jerusalem. And they said that of course, that he could have it in Ramallah. And by the way, I was at the U.S. Embassy opening ceremony in Jerusalem, a very historic time. And Israel sees this as a real big threat. And, and President Biden is, seems to be obsessed with dividing Israel and have a Palestinian state. And I want to mention that all this is, is with a backdrop of the prophet Joel chapter 3, verse 2, that warns about God's anger against anyone that divides Israel. And that's what the Biden administration seems to be very clear set on doing. Right. You, you're very strong in your Christian faith. You get any other kind of pushback as a believer there at the White House? Uh, I do on several fronts. Mainly, I'm being labeled as an activist here. The other journalists put me down and say that my reporting is activism, when in fact, it's the hypocrisy that their reporting is activism and not really true news. Okay, let me ask you this then. Will President Biden, you think he'll support boycotting or moving the 2022 Beijing China Olympics because of the Uyghur and Christian genocide as well as the infanticide that's happening in China? Well, my, my hope is that, that, he, that he would, especially in light of President Jimmy Carter, a Democrat president who in 1980 boycotted the Russia Olympics in Moscow for the aggression of Russia in Afghanistan. And we have uh, much more aggression being demonstrated by China. And so I've been prepared to ask that very challenging question. And hopefully I will be called upon to ask that question regarding uh, the, 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 the problem with the Uyghurs, uh, what their uh, persecution of the Uyghurs. Now, this includes very serious things that, that the, what the administration here hasn't been willing to talk about. And that is the the matter of forced sterilization, uh, forced sterilization and organ harvesting. Wow. And uh, the whole time we we let this just continue on. What people are overwhelmed by this government right now with all the mandates and all the different things that are happening. What would you say to the American people from your experience there at the White House? Well, for the American people to hold, the, hold their leaders accountable, they can make a difference by contacting their congressmen to voice their opposition to what it, what it is and to share their concern. What really needs to happen is the American people to speak up very boldly and not allow leaders to uh, cause these problems. We, we think about increased inflation that's driving the price of gas way up. Uh, and also to speak out on uh, freedom of the press issues that affect me and other Christian media here. Uh, that it is not fair for uh, me as a Christian journalist to be discriminated against in the matter of the, the COVID virus testing being required of me, but not the vaccinated people that can get off without having to pay anything. Right. White House correspondent Dr. Anthony Harper uh, believes there are some biases at the White House against unvaccinated and those who are outspoken Christians.